Hi, this is Bill Lee. Thanks for watching. As you prepare for next year, what's the most important skill you're going to need? And I'd argue that the answer to that is the ability to connect with people, with audiences, the ability to connect. And what I mean by that is the ability to get someone to take action, uh, to support you, uh, to get their buy-in, to get their agreement. And you need to get that from customers and customer advocates that you work with. You need to get that from your C-suite. Uh, you need to connect with your stakeholders like sales and marketing, customer success uh, uh, folks, and so forth. So for the next four weeks, I'm going to do a series on connection. So you can start the new year with your ability to connect with these important groups working and running on all cylinders or all batteries, depending on, on what you drive. <laughs> And by the way, what I'll be talking about is based on scientific, very good scientific research uh, on brain capacity and brain functioning. Uh, in fact, this stuff is getting to the point now where it's becoming uh, pretty well understood and actionable. So I'm urging you to take advantage of this information next year. So let's get started. There are four drivers that create connection when you're speaking or presenting. And the one that we're going to talk to about, uh, talk about today is content, rational content, things like facts, data, research, logic. And there's two things to remember about rational content. Uh, one is that, that that's only 10% of what drives connection. It's the least important of the drivers of connection. But it's probably the one you're spending the most time on. I mean, it's a classic mistake to spend too much time in preparing your content, you know, getting the slides in the right order and, and oh, getting that additional fact and putting in that little piece of logic uh, just where it needs to be, uh, that's all a waste of time. Uh, and the second classic mistake is, pro pro is providing too much content, too much TMI, to your audience. They're just not going to retain it. So you can cut prep time dramatically with little impact on your ability to connect when it comes to your rational content. So here's how to cut that time. It's the second major point that I want to make here. Have just two to three major points that you want to make to your audience. Uh, there's several reasons for that. Number one is that's all they're going to remember. Uh, so why bother? Take out those other eight or 12 or 15 points you just really are dying to make. Take them out. Get rid of them. And a way to decide what to get rid of is ask yourself, of all these points I want to make, what are the two or three that are most aligned with my audience's interests? And that will help you get rid of that excess content. So with rational content, with that driver that, that you're spending so much time is, if you remember nothing else, less is more when it comes to that. So next week, I'm going to talk to you about the, most, the next most important driver, how to tell a great story stories. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to do the best research-based uh, approach to telling stories in your meetings and your presentations that will literally get you twice as much connection as you can get with that old rational content that you've been relying on. So stay tuned for that. This is Bill Lee. Thanks for watching.